In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and start with the Kronos Timeline plugin in Obsidian. So you go to your settings, then search for, go to community plugins, and then click on browse to search for, to search for the plugin. Of course, you must have your community plugin allowed or enabled. Then, then just write Kronos Timeline click on it click on install it will install then enable it you can see here the default views that you can have with this timeline and this is a simple default syntax that you can use also to create your timeline you can see here you can specify only a date or a year you can specify also a range as the example showed now i'm clicking on enable you can also set some settings go to options here are the different settings i'm not going to deep dive in those but i'm going to show you something this cheat sheet already available for you so all you have to do is to copy it by clicking on the copy button and then paste it and use the different example or examples that are described in this cheat sheet so you can see here in this example or in this doc you have the different date formats that you can use with examples of course you can have the how examples of how to use or specify events how to customize them how to specify as dates as range uh, as uh, or with colors and with groups you can see here we have a group this is another one and there are also periods that you can specify for example here we have the basic period and we have specifications with color so we have the this period with the red and this one the second one so this is the red period and this is the second one you can also use points for your timeline with examples advanced example i'm not going to explain everything this is just an overview or a preview of what can this plugin can do for you so you use it to specify a timeline for events you can also use it as i'm doing for planifying or specifying date ranges for your projects you can as you can see zoom in and zoom out it will dynamically update you have also this option to order by start date or by color and for specific and for specifying the colors you can either select or use one of these names or simply use the hex code so now i'm going to try an example to show you how it will work or how simply this plugin works so you create a code block you label it conos then you specify your dates as list or event times dates here i'm going to use the first date so this is the date picker does not uh, has nothing to do with the plugin so i'm using it simply to to simplify my date specifications here again i'm specifying or selecting another date so it says there is a parsing error i didn't finish the writing of this block the first i'm going the first event i'm going to simply name it start date and this one and date you can see i have my start date and and date that i specified i can also add a color for example i'm going to say this one is red i'm going to select one of these and the second one will be blue you can see here we have our red event and blue if I specify a color, I can specify a hex code. Or if I want a different color, I can specify simply the hex code. This is the 
Xcode. I'm going to change the color. So this is the end date uh, color I selected. You can also specify a time for your event. For example, here I'm going to add a T and 8 o'clock. So you can see here, time is added. If I zoom in, I have my start date at 8. This is just a preview of the plugin. If you want to deep dive, let me know in the comments below. Bye.